Well, folks, welcome to another episode of Midwest Riverette. I'm out at the Menominee Dam on the Red Cedar River. Crap, I was gonna find out the temperature. Okay, now I'm ready. It is 38 degrees out with a high of 40 today. It is beautiful, sunny. I see zero clouds from where I'm standing. Got about a five mile an hour wind or less. Basically a light breeze, not cold at all. Um, yes, I have this ridiculous big hat on, but I'm probably gonna end up taking it off. If the breeze does pick up, it's nice to not be getting hit with it on the side of the face. It's too beautiful not to be at the river chucking lures. I did get a couple of bites last time I was out here, but I did not get any fish. I'm gonna be chucking a bucktail, variety of jerk baits, and probably smaller jerk baits, and little tiny spinners on a smaller rod. Try to cover my bases a little bit. All right, let's do some fishing. I'm gonna start out with the golden black jerk bait because why not stick with what's working? Or was working last time we were in this situation. On a tape measure and the spring still works cool probably saw that on the camera oh boy well I got my bucktail hung up on a rock ledge I'm pretty sure I can see it or it's way too cold to go out and get it can't walk out and get it even though I can see a slab it's stuck on so what I'm gonna do is cut the line off, tie the line to a stake that I'm gonna make with my knife and a tree. Ow! Nasty thorns. Sometime I'll get my kayak out here and then grab that string, go out on the other side of it and get it off. That rock ledge is nasty. You gotta keep your lures so shallow. Which sucks because it's deeper out lower and then you get in closer and it's drastic depth change from that rock ledge. Oh crap. Now I went and dropped the line in the water. Got my line back. Hopefully we can get it on shore. Ah oh, crap. Lost it again. <sighs> oh no, now I got my jerk bait on a tree. Okay, got the line. It's long enough to get to me. Okay. Got it back. It's so frustrating when you can see your bait out there. Okay, now I have the line. We're going to tie this to the stake and then bury the stake in the mud. All right, so I tied that line to a stake, stuck it in the ground, and hopefully it'll still be there when I come back. I was looking at this thing last year and I decided not to get it, but you know what? We're gonna go for it. 20 bucks, it's made for retrieving your lure. So we're gonna try it out. If it don't work, we're gonna bring it back. And check this out. I didn't even know they had this stuff. 
fly tying kit. It's got vise. It's got all kinds of hair and other. That's a $50 one. Here's a $60 one. So that's pretty neat. I'm going to have to pick me up. And they got a, a vise all by itself. But I might as well buy the kit and get everything I need. Sweet. That'll make my uh, lure repair vidges a lot better. Just got out of Fleet Farm. You know, obviously you saw me buy this thing. Thought of it as I was headed home. It's about 20 bucks. Um, you're supposed to put it on your line, I guess, and drop it down to the bait on your fishing line. And it's got its own string. So I'm not sure how exactly it works, but hopefully it's got some kind of, it's got instructions on the back, but they're not very, I mean, I wonder if I can YouTube this. Okay, so I just YouTubed a video on how to work this thing. It's actually on the Lou's YouTube channel. Like I said, it's called Lou's David Fritz Get Her Back Lure Retriever. So basically stick this, well it's got the safety rope, that's what the rope's for. It's just so you don't lose this, it falls off your line. Tie that to here, tie it to something or hold on to it, make sure you don't let go of it. Um, then you stick your line through here and you loop it through the it's got a little Spring loop so you can get your line in there without untying it and then you literally just drop this down your line to the lure This thing hits your hooks and this is supposed to Bump your hooks out of the because I mean you, you snag your lure going this way and It's gonna hit your hooks this way. So it's gonna knock it off and this is pretty heavy I mean, I'd say it's about well does it say how heavy it is 8.9 ounce, whatever that equals out to pounds. 8.9 ounces, so it's got some weight to it. Should be able to get that bucktail out for me. So we're gonna we're gonna head back to that spot. Got my line still tied to shore. I guarantee you nobody's found that yet. So yeah, during this vidget, even if there's no fish, at least you'll be able to find out if this thing is worth buying. All right, here we are. I just got my rod, camera, and lure retriever. Okay, you can still see my line in the water. I gotta pee. Okay, first thing first, we need to get the line back. Here's my stake, and then there's my line. All right, got the line back. Now I'm gonna tie it back onto my reel. Wow, I just let the current take the line back into the water. You've gotta be kidding me. Well, I, that was dumb, but I guess I'm going to have to go back to my car and get my other rod and try to chuck a lure out there and hopefully I can snag that line and drag it back in. It's not a short distance out here. I can't believe it. I just set that line right down, right back down on the water. Or right back down on the shore. And of course the current is strong enough that it took it right back into the water. Okay, I got my other rod. Brought my whole backpack because... Because something else is going to go wrong and I need the stuff in the backpack. So now I'm going to chuck that jerk bait out there and hopefully I can snag that line because it'll just be going down river from where the bucktail is snagged. Hopefully I don't snag the jerk bait. But it's oh, I got the line. Check that out, folks. First cast with the jerk bait. Oh no. And there it goes again. Okay, let's try to get down here and grab this line. Watch me catch a fish while I'm grabbing this line. Okay, got the line. Ah, oh, and the end will not come. Okay, now I should be able to get it to me. And it's stuck on my lure now. But that's better than it sliding right off. Okay. We are back in business. Okay. Now we're not going to let go of this line until it is tied to the dang rod. Now. 
we can tie it to the rod. We are not even going to do a fancy knot here. We're going to tie these, and that's how it's going to be. We are connected to the lure again. Now we can set this down without it going anywhere. Okay. Now we got to untie this rope, our safety rope, so we don't lose our lure retriever, too. And watch this become a tangled mess. Okay. So we tie this to the yellow loop. Got to get this done before it gets dark. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now, nah, don't worry. I, I figured it out. Okay. All right. I got that on there. So we're going to just send it down. And see how well this fancy dancy thing works. Now, the way they were showing it in the video, they're dropping it straight down from a boat. But I obviously don't have my boat out here. So hopefully it can get all the way down to the bucktail. It doesn't seem like it is getting all the way down there. And this 25 foot rope ain't long enough, that's for darn sure. Probably would have been better off going to get my kayak. Well, like a complete idiot that I am, um, my I didn't think that rope that came with it was reaching to my lure, so I took the rope off and then realized if I can't get the lure off, unsnagged with it, how am I going to get that thing back? So now that thing's out there, now I have $20, 30 about $35, well, about $37 worth of crap down there. Now... Hopefully that thing sits there and I can come back with the kayak and magnet that out and then darn it now my line isn't even attached to shore so I don't know how I'm going to find my lure. This sucks. This sucks really bad. Now I'm just going to have to come back a different day with the kayak even if I wanted to today. I couldn't because it's going to be dark by the time I get home and back. But that's going to be the end of this video because I'm completely utterly frustrated and just lost more money than I should and now I'm gonna go home and get ready for ice fishing tomorrow and hopefully that goes better thanks for watching my stupid videos and if you care to see more stupid videos like comment and subscribe oh I can see my lure out there it's, it's, it's right there I'll catch y'all on the next episode hopefully Dude, check this out. Dude, 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 dude. No way. No way. Uh-uh. Dude, I can't catch fish through the ice. Unbelievable. Well, it took snapping this thing took snapping my line and, and giving up almost giving up to get this but look there is my bucktail and guess what I got this back too I I packed up and I was about ready to go home obviously so I took the jerk bait started chucking it out there got the line got it back grabbed it started pulling I was gonna tie it to the bank again so I could come back later and find it and guess what there's no there was, it, was, it wasn't attached anymore I could feel the weight of the lure and this dealy bob, but but it was moving. And guess what? I got it back. You have got to be kidding me. Like I can't catch fish through the ice. Boy, I can get lures back. That's for darn sure. Holy crap. Well, got the lure back. Got my lure retriever thingy back. Thanks for watching my stupid video again. Because this one was really, really stupid. But I really, really appreciate it if you subscribed, if you enjoy my content, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.